Hello everybody, how's it going? I love how I'm starting this video at 11 11 by the way. <laughs> so um, I want to come on here and make a few announcements, make talk about some of the energies, some of the shifts going on. There's, I feel like there's such good high energy and I'm, I'm here for it. I'm excited. I know that there's a lot of, a lot of people stressing about the elections and what happened. Like, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. But, um, I know to some people it does, but, um, we create our own reality. The, the government is not going to rule us. The government is not going to control the people. We control ourselves. And this is what we have to remember. But anyway, let's go on to bigger and better things. I want to talk about what has been coming up for a lot of people and the shifts and everything. There's been, God, there's so many shifts this month. Like cosmically, astrologically, there are a lot of shifts. One took place in, on November 3rd which was Mars go entering Leo. So Mars was in Cancer for a very long time. And when Mars is in Cancer, it's very passive aggressive, doesn't really take much action. And Mars entering Leo is very action oriented. It's very bold. It's like when I was talking about Aries energy, it's almost like that. It's kind of impulsive, but it's very, it's more so bold. It takes action. It goes for what it wants. I find it interesting how there were so like so many breakups around that time. Um, I don't know if it's because of Mars and Leo, but I feel like it just kind of kind of kicked off like whatever wasn't meant to be anymore. It's just like, you know, tearing things apart. I was one of them. As you guys know, I was with a soulmate slash karmic. I'm high level soulmate. I don't know, but we ended things on Monday and it's crazy because I thought I thought that I would have been extremely sad. I don't know if it's because of the subliminals I've been listening to that's been, it's just helped me be so positive. Or if it's just Mars and Leo that's just like, all right, let's go. Like we don't have time to waste. We don't have time to dwell in sad energy. And I've just entered like this insane glow up era that I feel like I'm back to myself, but times 10, if that makes sense. And so I feel like this Mars and uh, Mars and Leo energy has really done a 180 for so many people. And whether it was breakups or not, it's causing people to focus on themselves, causing people to focus on self love. Really, just just positive energy. It's it, it's it's like magnetic, right? That is one of the big things right now. And Mars in Leo is, um, is, so it started November 3rd and it's staying there until January 6th next year. And then it'll come back in April again. So there's going to be a lot of fire energy. This is actually very good for the twin flame collective because what happens is when Mars or when there are planets that are in fire signs, that is going to kick stuff off the ground. It's gonna make people take action, especially the divine masculines. It's going to make the divine feminines focus on themselves, you know, be where they need to be, have that strong high energy, but it can also make the divine masculines kind of put, give them a push, right? Okay, like we gotta take the bold moves, right? Because Leos are very bold. <laughs> They're supposed to be. Um, <laughs> Leo, Leos are very, um, very much bold, confident, right? Think of a lion. Divine masculines tend to take action when planets are in fire signs. So when we have full moons in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we tend to, to get communication from the DMs during those times. Or when you have Mars in those signs, that is another one. You may receive communication or some form of signal or action from your DM during this time and especially during the Sagittarius season. So come December or end of November, early December, you may get some communication from your DM or some form of action or some form of, you know, some form of message from your divine masculine come December. And I really truly believe that there's going to be a lot more communication, engagement and all this and this, what I channeled earlier, you know, earlier this year that there would be more communication December, January, and I think 2025 is when things are going to come off, come, take off. There are a lot of karmic cycles ending, and why is that? We have, as you guys know, everyone talks about Pluto in Capricorn, just off 555. 
So Pluto has been in Capricorn, um, well, it was retrograde, and now it's stationed direct in Oct on October 11th. And if you guys haven't noticed, there's been a lot of chaos since then. A lot of um, old karmic patterns that were coming up. Like, especially for me, my anxiety was coming through the roof in relationships. Like, old, my old relationship patterns were coming up and it was kind of destroying my my relationship with my soulmate, but honestly, it had to happen. The anxiety was coming up, the fears were coming up, but also it was triggering my sense of like, okay, like speaking my truth, which was something that I didn't do in the past. And so we've been breaking these old patterns. Pluto going direct to Capricorn from October 11th until November 19th these are basically your old karmic cycles, your old karmic patterns from 2008. They're coming up to the surface. They're stirring you up. The anxiety, the fear, anything that needs to be broken, okay, that needs to end, it is ending right now. So you may feel like you're repeating old cycles, old patterns, things that you have not dealt with in such a long time. I just saw 717. I know I need to stop in the numbers. So they're coming up. But then come November 19, Pluto is going into Aquarius and we're entering a completely different era, a completely different like mind frame, mindset. That's going to be more about spirituality and being more in alignment with who you really are, your creativity, etc. And this is why this like everyone's talking about Pluto and Capricorn because it's so, so huge because we want to finish these karmic cycles. We want to get through these karmic patterns and behaviors, right? And so what's coming up with this, and it's something that I have been working on with my clients, is your inner teenager. A lot of people talk about your inner child. Yes, we have wounds from our inner child, but what do we actually remember more is from our inner teenager. And when did we lash out more is when we were a teenager. So when you don't speak your truth, your inner teenager comes out and they want to rebel. They get upset, but a lot of times we don't know how to control our inner teenager. We don't know how to parent our inner teenager. So this is stuff that I've been working on myself and with my clients. So if you feel like you are lashing out, if you feel like you are upset, if you feel like you are impatient, if you feel like you're just like so frustrated with the world, you might need to parent your inner teenager. You might need to have a talk with them. You might need to kind of like tame them and understand what are they frustrated about. So these are some things that may be coming up for you because I know I feel like this is like a collective thing that their inner teenager is really coming up to stir things up. And we always got to work on our, oh my God, my chest. We always got to work on our, our inner child, our inner teenager, those wounds, the shadows to clear those patterns, those behaviors that have been with us for so long. And another one that is also ending is we have um, Saturn in retrograde. That is ending November 15th. So you have a lot of stuff going on. So November 15th, Saturn retrograde is ending and Saturn in retrograde is also all about karmic cycles. So we have a lot coming to surface, but then we go into Mercury retrograde, I believe November 21st. So there's a lot, there is a lot this month, but it is really to, to catapult you in uh, to healing. Um, so this is a great month. I'm excited for it and I hope you guys are too. So yeah.